V-critical is a procedure new to GenStat 19 that uses a parametric bootstrap to estimate critical values for a fixed term in a Remmel analysis. The conventional way to assess fixed terms in a Remmel analysis is to use either Wald or F tests. However, the Wald test generates significant results too frequently, and whilst the F test is more reliable, the denominated degrees of freedom needs to be estimated, and this is not always possible. In addition, we must be cautious when using the denominated degrees of freedom in t-tests to assess contrasts, as the degrees of freedom are relevant for assessing the fixed term as a whole, and may differ over the various contrasts. V-critical provides us with an alternative method for assessing fixed terms and contrasts. Let's have a look at the V-critical help documentation. V-critical generates critical values for the F, Wald and T statistics by taking their appropriate quantile obtained from bootstrap samples. These critical values can be used to assess the significance of fixed terms. In addition, critical values for t-statistics enable you to determine the detectable size of a contrast in a two-sided, one-sided, non-inferiority or equivalence test. The procedure is controlled by a number of options and parameters. The term option specifies the fixed term to be tested. This must be set. The U-means option supplies the expected values for the units under the null hypothesis of no effects for the term being tested. The UV covariance option supplies the variances and covariances of the units. The Probabilities option specifies the significance level of the critical values. The default is 0.05, i.e. 5%. The X contrasts parameter, the contrast type parameter, and the T method option enable us to assess contrasts amongst the effects of a term. The X contrasts parameter is used to define the contrast. The contrast type parameter specifies whether it is a regression contrast or a comparison. And the t-method option specifies the type of test used to assess the contrasts. Other options and parameters control what output is generated. The bootstrap sampling. The Remmel analyses and results that are saved. Let's demonstrate V-critical using the Oates split plot experiment. I'll also open a new text window. The initial model contains fixed terms for variety, nitrogen, and the variety by nitrogen interaction. We'll use V-critical to assess the significance of the interaction term. To do this, we must first obtain the expected values, i.e. fitted values, under the null model with no interaction. This null model is defined using the v-component directive in the usual way. We'll store the expected values in a variant named fit using the fitted values parameter of Remmel directive. Next, we must fit the full model 
to obtain the variances and covariances of the units. Using the keep will save the unit by unit variance covariance matrix in V. Now, using V-critical, we can perform a parametric bootstrap to get critical values for the variety by nitrogen interaction term. Set U-means to fit. This contains the expected values under the null model. Set UV covariance to V, which is the unit by unit variance covariance matrix. Set term to the fixed term we want to assess, variety.nitrogen. In the output, a table of critical F and wall values are given. You'll get slightly different values as we didn't set the seed for the random number generation using the seed option. At the 5% significance level, the critical value for the F statistic is 2.350. As this is larger than the observed F statistic, 0.30, We've no reason to reject the null hypothesis of no interaction effects. In other words, V-critical provides guidance that it is appropriate to simplify the fixed model by omitting the interaction term. Similarly, the observed wall statistic, 1.82, is smaller than the critical value, again providing evidence that we can drop the interaction term from our fixed model.